Welcome back guys to another lovely day. At the moment anyway. Yeah. We're joined with Matt. Hello everyone. Now uh yesterday we obviously did the recording of uh us well, almost finishing the field. But uh we finished it early this morning. And so Matt is gonna do bailing. I've already moved some bales out the way. And uh that's pretty much how the day's gonna go. Matt's gonna put Matt's in a bale. I'm Indeed. gonna pick up bales and I'm also gonna start spreading some slurry just to empty the tank. Uh out on some of the stub all over there. So yep. uh Yeah, that's that's crack on, eh Matt? Indeed, we just had dinner, so Indeed we have. Right. right I'll chat you on C B. Top of that. Right. Let's try the trailer. Alright, let's do put up the slurry tank. Hello? Hello. You on? I am. Nice one. Animal. To put up the slurry tank to relax. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right, so yeah, Matt said they bathing dice. We were originally going to do a hedge tut in today as well, but just, the, the tank needs empty and that's a good enough field to get, get out some, you know, still classes or damn it. Does it uh, Indeed. Liquid manure. And then that can be cultivated up in the coming days. And then we got the maze soon as well. Oh. All right, Matt won't be able to talk to us a second. So we're just out of the cab or sweeping the date. All right, now we're so I'm back now. By the way, I'm out. Of the, I was out of the cab. Ah, oh, right. I see. Hook up to the Abbey. Alright, there is a little bit in the Abbey, so don't have to fill it up too much. How's the bales doing so far? Not too bad. I've managed to do two bales so far. Well, that's not too bad then. Ah, it's pretty decent now. Right. It's the tank report, and well, I'm on my route to the field now. Okay. Copy that. Sorry. <laughs> There's a 265, by the way, dies on the feeder rider if you hadn't seen it. It's in there. Now we're actually going to go down the track. So we don't have to keep going through the yard. Take the rough track. We may pick up some bales on the record on the, the vlog dice, but I don't know yet. Depends how far we get. It also depends on how much time we got. Yeah, because we have got to do and obviously cut that over wheat field as well, dice. So if Matt finishes the bales whilst we're still recording, Matt will take the bale home and we'll have to uh yeah, take the combine down and get started and then I'll have to take the widen down, so it's tired of Doing a bit of everything today. Right, I'm just opening it eight a minute. Right. Right, now I'm back. Nice one. I was just opening the date. Right. That's alright. Did you did you shut that gate? What date? 
the gate up the top here? No, no, no. I, I'm cutting across the grass field, so I don't have to do it all the way down the road. Oh, you were cutting through it. home ground? Yeah. Right. I won't spread over here yet because there's a little bit of swath over by the gateway. So I shall do down this section here. But yeah, so Matt will do a combine in once he's finished this field. But then whether we get that far on the recording, who knows? Indeed. Alright, now we're spreading. So obviously the idea guys is to obviously leave us, don't go too close to that swath over there. Don't want the swath covered in crap, as it were. You can see the fence in action. Like you're getting on all right there. Yeah, the tanker, this tanker obviously on those quite quick, don't it? That's the issue. Yeah. It is, it is an issue, but you know, what can you do, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a big splash plate on, so it sends it quite far. Exactly. A little bit of overlap. But yeah, like we said, those these bells are obviously already sold. Right, we're they empty. were sold before we even made them. Yeah, so you know, whatever we make, put on our traders. We're going to deliver it to the bloke later on today, and offload him at his yard and bring the wagon back. But we took the little small one just down there, just in case it's. Too many for the big wagon. Which at the moment doesn't look like there is. The straw's not great, is it, Matt? What's that, sorry? He said the straw's not great down there, so. No, it's not. It really isn't. I mean, oh. the crop was good, and the grain. Yeah. But the swath is terrible. Yeah. Absolutely atrocious. Only issue with doing up this track as well. <laughs> Bumpy. Oh yeah. Luckily in the case <laughs> you've got tab suspension as well as seat suspension. Luckily. So you don't feel it as much. But you still obviously do feel it quite a fair bit. Not as bad as the 265 when we uh, brought the 265 down here. Though. Oh that was ridiculous. Alright, let's fill her up. So how many bells have you got done so far then? Uh, about five. Well, not too bad. I'd expect a little more out of that field, but oh well. Yeah, I was, to be fair. Because there's already four on the wide end, or three on the wide end. Yeah, so we've got about... There's four on the wagon so far. I've just unloaded one. So we've done about eight bales in this field so far. Yeah, so that's still not even enough to fill up the bottom layer. No. And how many bales was it you wanted? Uh at 16 so if we don't do another 8 out of there we're buggered well we got that one last wheat field yeah we're, we're gonna have to swap that yeah we'll have to luckily that's all done it crop as well thank god otherwise we'd be pooped yeah 
Well, how many rows have you got left? Uh, one, two. I've got about. I want to say between ten and twelve. Ah, right, okay. So maybe right at the end of the vlog, days we'll uh, be on the move for the combine at the end, but with Chelsea. Yeah. If we don't, I apologise, guys. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do in, yeah. that, in this sense. Well, we're on a push now because in a, just about in about three weeks' time, our maze will be ready. So. Yeah, that's. Um, we're trying to get ground cultivated and everyone else, so. Plowed, cultivated, seeded in, a, in, a, in like a week's time, so. Yeah, it's gonna be tight. Yeah. So we could, like you say, we gotta get this other wheat field in and baled Indeed. all in the time that the maize will be ready. Yep. All in the time it takes for the maize to be ready. Yeah. If we don't, we're buggered for this season, for this year. So we'll have to plant it in the spring. Yeah. As irritating as that is, guys, that's just the way things are. Indeed. I'll leave a set like a pathway over the top of the slurry bit, so we don't have to keep driving through the slurry. Yeah, that'd be great. It's a nightmare to get out the tracks in these things. Well, I'm also thinking probably the Tetlander probably won't like it either. That thing doesn't like pulling no. things on the best of times. No, it's not his. It's not his favourite thing to do, is it? No, it doesn't even like pulling the bell trailer when it's loaded. So, that's why no, the case is on it. <laughs> Luckily, we got the case on it. And the eight one eight. Yeah. Oh, even the 265 pulls the little trailer, so... I think there's something wrong with the computer on this baler as well. Why? It very rarely beeps when it gets almost full. Yeah. So I might, I might just need to give it a little check over. Oh, uh, it's time to the end of the we'll season. Yeah, we'll do that later. Yeah, I mean, it can break all it wants at the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, the end of this season, it's gonna hardly be needed. Uh, it go away then until silage time again. Yeah. Agreed. I'll probably try and look for a slightly better baler as well, maybe a little bit more modern for this time next year. Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is upgrade a bit for uh, next season. Yeah, that bait has been here a long time, man. It's been here ever since Dad was here. Yeah, exactly. So it's an old bait. That's going back to, like, what, late 60s, early 70s? Well, that bait is a 1990 model. Yeah, so it's about 20, just over 20 years old. Yeah, just over 20 years old, so I am. Give or take. Mm. Which isn't bad. No, mate. And it's still going. Uh, might be time for a change next year, who knows? Yeah. We have to cut the small square baler if anything needs to be done with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping we can only, we just need to get round bales out of this. We don't need to go and get the square baler. Hopefully, being the T-words, that thing does not, it just doesn't like us, I think. It doesn't like us at the best of times, Matt, let alone harvest time. Oh yeah, the old man used to get it to work perfectly, but during, when we made some hay bales for them, for the stables, Oh yeah. That was the last job the same did. Yeah. Before my accident. Mm. Oh move out the way, Moo Tao. Don't you? How are you getting on over there now? Not too bad. I've done uh one half. Yeah. 
I'm just about to start the second half. Fair enough. Have a drink once they fill up. How about you? How are you getting on? I'm almost at the, like done the chopped straw bit. Ah, nice one. I assume once you've done that, you're jumping in the teller handler then. Maybe. Okay. Uh, it'd be dependent on how f how much you got left. Is that I can see if Dave has finished with his trailer yet? and take both widens down to you first. Yeah, I've got about 11 swaths left. Ah, oh, right, it's quite for you. But I've already started on one. Yeah. I mean, it's quarter three now. Yeah. We'll have this field done by four o'clock. Hopefully. I don't know whether that'll count as picking the bales up as well, mind. Uh, no, probably not. The bells can wait till after tea or something. Yeah. Again, doesn't beep when full. It's a nightmare. Yeah. It was dead like that when I was finishing our wheat field. Oh, was it? Yeah. I thought maybe no, it was just be, might have been because the taste was a bit too modern for it, but if it's doing it on the 818 as well. Yeah, it's doing it on the 818. Mm. Maybe time to upgrade it at the end of the season. Get rid of Definitely. it. Definitely. Definitely. Part, part exchange or something. Yeah. Don't look for spares and repairs. Mm. And then we're, uh, we're set. You got some little sauce down the bottom, aren't you? Where you are now? Yeah, I got a couple of little ones. Yeah, I thought so. But yeah, we finished this early this morning, guys. We did have a little problem with the header, though. Yeah. Whereby it jammed. Oh, uh, yeah, there's we a big chunk, didn't there? Yeah. I remember. We couldn't get that chunk up. Yeah, I'd well, we on... assumed this uh, because it jammed, but it just wouldn't cut. Yeah. So it was either problem with the, some a problem with either the crop or the header. Yeah, this crop was kind of did take a bit of a beating because this is right on top of the ridge line here, though. So the wind in the winter time does kind of wrap itself over this field. Yeah. So. Probably should apply some brakes, don't want to destroy their chicken coop. Yeah, best not. Yeah, don't want to have to pay for that and some chicken. Yeah. But yeah, we'll be getting the side of sides on uh, the Marston soon. Ready to maze. Have you decided whether we're bailing the next silage or clamping it? Uh, well, we won't be doing it anymore now because of the maize. The maize is so is such a good crop this year. No, I mean next silage season. Uh, hopefully, if we could get if we're done a dough with a new baler, oh, that was perfect. If we did do with a new baler, then hopefully try and get another round so we can wrap it again and do round bale wrap. If not, we're uh, have to invest in it. Well, we want a new trailer for ourselves anyway. Yeah. See if we can get another one with side of sides if that's the case, get a contract for both of us down with trailers or something. Yeah, that's cool. Right, I'm going to part the slurry tank up for the time being because I am done pretty much up to the swap line. Okay. So I'm going to come on down. I'm going to take the slurry tank to back to drop it by the pit. I got three or four tanker loads out. That's not bad. Nah, I mean the rest of it done when the bales are up. 
Yeah. Which I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to go on one if you go on the other. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you jump in the T side of the Telander, isn't it? Yeah. How many rage dot left? Uh, about four and a half. Alright, in that case then, I'll put the green widen on this thing. I'll put the green widen on. Scratch that, sorry. One, two, three, four. About six and a half, sorry. Copy that. I got cow stopped right in front of me being awkward. Come on. Move it. No, he's gonna stand there, isn't he? Go around him. Can you go around him? Just. Not waiting all day. Hm. I ain't got time to wait all day, have I? Not really. I'm gonna drop the tank through there for now. Alright. I love this little fence. It's a good fence. Very good fence. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the drain trailer on the case. Yeah. Then I'm gonna take the tomboyne down to the field for you. Okay. And uh, you bring the case down for me so I can go. Yeah, we'll that's swap. cool. We'll swap when we get to the field. Yeah, I can live with that. But yeah, we'll be putting the, the side of sides on this wide on the Marston dice and uh, getting the maze in soon. We got Tom Tracks to come in for that, because Matt's not here for that for that week. No, I'm I'm on holiday. So uh it'd just be myself. I mean there's not a lot Matt can do anyway. We only have the one wide and unless Dave let us borrow his, so Which is highly unlikely because he's gotta use it to get his maze in. Yeah, exactly, so, so Plus being a sheep farmer, yeah. Tends to use it to move everything around, mud and everything, so. Yeah. Alright, I'm heading past Dave's now, and I just realised what I've done. What have you done? Took the case. Ah, that's alright. Oh, you muppet. Ah, that's alright. We'll, uh, turn around in Dave's. That's me being so used to carting guys. Yeah. For the brain. That uh get a little bit confused. It's not very often that I drive the tomboy. No, it's not, you're right. I think you drove it like once before. Yeah, I drove it once this year and that was to start the headlands when you were at hospital. When yeah, you were that's having right. your chest up to make sure you could do better work. Oh, I was going to go back to work anyway. Yeah, exactly. Come hello high water. Rain or sunshine, if you like. Yeah. Nothing was going to stop me. Besides, I was needed. Yeah. Your office was needed for the season. Exactly. Right. Uh, I've parked the taste up. Jump oh, on out. God's sake. What? Right, I'm just jumping out the cab a minute. Same. But yeah, guys, so that's obviously our bale shed. A lot of bales in there, hay and straw. But uh, yeah, we're just jumping uh, Deutz a minute. We'll be doing cultivating as well. Not later on today, but later on this week. Right then. 
Alright, at least we're in the cab now for when Matt gets back. Hello? Hello. Alright? Yeah, I'm back in the cab now, I'm in the doys. Oh, you're in the Starliner? I am. I got confused then, I was going to say, we don't have it, we don't own a Deutz. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm in your office. You're in my office. <laughs> Brilliant. Trying to get her out of the, the shed here. Oh, it is a nightmare, I know. It's not a lot of clearance, is there, Ben? No, there isn't, you're oh, right. We're all good. Jack on rounds. Lovely stuff. Right, I'm heading down to the field now. Okay. Oh, I've only got a small swaps left. Oh, that's alright. Yeah, I mean, don't think I'll be in this thing long. Like I just said, I'll open up the field and then just bring you bring the taste down. Yep. We can trade. But what I do, like you say, once I finish this. I'll take the baler back, park it up, yeah, jump if you, in the case, if you just, I'll bring it down. If you just put the baler, like, by the bale shed, don't bother parking it, I'll sort it out. Right, okay when then. When I turn back the case. What I'll do is I'll leave it on the fence then. Yeah, yeah, just leave it, just leave it as it is. We'll probably have to bring the combine back tonight, whether we finish the field or not, because it's not, it's not about a quarter of a tank left. Oh, has it? Yeah. Jeez. If I had known, I would have filled it up, but I've only just checked the fuel gauge. Ah. Uh, oh. We press on. Indeed. This is quite a long drive, guys. This is not our field. This is one we rented. Uh, off of. Not Dave, it's actually the farm around the corner from Dave's. Yeah, I, I don't know what his name is. Larry, that's his name. Larry, is it? Yeah. Right. He's not... Well, you, you've he, dealt with him before, haven't you? Yeah, he's not the, he's not the nicest of blokes. If you get on his wrong side, he's alright, it's nice, keep him sweet. Ah, uh, right. It's one of those. Yeah, but he had two spare fields that he was renting out for cheap. For, oh, really? For anything, yeah, so. That's when I said to you, I was done there. Oh, that's who you were chatting with? Yeah, well, at the start. I heard you on the phone the other day. Yeah, that's why. This is why I planted it all down here. If you follow the main. Right. If you. When you get to the T junction by the yard, if you turn right past Dave's. Follow the track and then head as if you were going towards like where we saw bales and that before. Yeah. The the field is down there, but as I've never been here before, I don't know where the gate is. Ah, oh, lovely. Yep. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. So yeah, you just follow the road all the way down as if you're going towards. Uh, sell bales. Yeah. And uh, it's there on your uh, the entrance is right on the bend on your right. A bit of an awkward entrance then. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Very awkward. Hey ho. Yeah. Right, I'm done in this field now. Right, you just don't the taste in. Um, We'll wait for you to get here with the case and then I'll end the vlog day. So I'm not going to record this as we're going to be doing for hours on the combine now. So, But the thing is as well, everyone, as you've seen it all before. Exactly. It's not like it's any different. Yeah, we literally did it yesterday, so... so it's not like it's going to be any different to what it was then. Exactly. And if anything, it's probably going to be a little bit more hassle because when I get back to the yard, I'm going to sort the fence out and do... See if Dave's trailer's free to bring that down to Matt, and then Matt will just stay down here on his own. I won't be carting, you know, back and forth. I'll be, I'll go and see if I can get a trailer load of bales or something. Whilst Matt's combining, and as long as there's two trailers down here, he can fill them up. 
and it's all good. Yeah, and if there's day if there's still daylight tonight, I'll try and bail this up as well. Whilst Matt's drum winding, so it's kind of a bit of a rush, and when it's rushed, the recording isn't it so good. Yeah, the recording isn't so good, so you guys suffer and we make mistakes because we're trying to do two things at once. And it's time to business end of the season now, where everything's a push, push, push. Yeah. But Matt should this be. This is when it tends to get really stressful. Yeah. I mean, where are you at now? I've just arrived at the yard. I ran into some little old lady driving. Ah, uh, right. Okay. So, just let me know when you're getting into the chase. So I know that you're off my. Okay. Right. I'm jumping into the case now. All right, man. But yeah, guys. So this is a different angle on the combine that you don't see very often. Mainly because I don't get to do in this. Hello. Hello. All right. Yeah. Right. Tell you what, this crop is a little bit better. I, think. I haven't seen what the straws like, but. I'm three quarters halfway round and I got half a tank roughly. Oh, that's not bad. On the first headland. But yeah, just follow the road all the way around past Dave's. Okay. Then uh, turn right at another small T junction as if you're going towards uh, like the stores and stuff like that, the grain store and everything. Right. And uh, you see, like the little left hand bends, there's a turn in there. Right, okay. I mean, you're in the taste, and it's only a 10 ton trailer, so you can speed to a degree. Just don't smash that tractor up, eh? <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was actually a very serious accident, but I like to mock him for it. Yeah, you do. Yes, you know. It's what brothers do. Yeah, it's what brothers do. We mess with each other, don't mm, we? Indeed. I'll be putting crabs in your bed next. I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> I'd rather I did, but there you go. Each to the room. <laughs> Where are you at then? I've just passed Dave's. Ah, oh, okay, so you're on your way. Yeah. You'll see the field I'm in anyway. Okay. It's not a very big field. But we got ah. some, like I said, there's some soybeans here as well. I said that yes on yesterday's job. There's some soybeans in the other one that I got the contractor to plant up for us, except they don't look very great. So no? that's, no, uh, bit hit and miss. You have a look when you come down with the stuff about it. Maybe guys will see a lot of soybean harvest. If not, you'll probably see us getting amazing nets. Because between now and then, it's a bit of a push. Maybe some cultivate on sign, but it's a bit of a push. Yeah. Alright, Matt should be here soon. I took that too wide. Nav on quickly. Old Nat Sav. Yeah, the Nat Sav. Right, well. I started the second headland, but I'm now almost full. That's well, lucky so, I'm here then. There Save we the are. day. Uh, if you want to come on, if you, yeah, actually, if you park it there, I'm going to do a swap. Alright. Yeah, the crop looks a lot better out of this field. Yeah, it does. There's still a couple of gaps in the swap, but, yeah. you know, not a lot we can do about that. Yeah, not a lot, but. Hey, right, guys, we're the crack on here, so. If you have enjoyed, remember to leave a like and subscribe to uh, the channel. 
Indeed. We'll be back with some sort of content soon. It's kind of uh, all titting off here, so there's quite a lot to record if we do something. But, uh, Whether it be grain selling, bale selling, exactly, or uh, maize. Exactly, but um, yeah, we'll catch you later, guys. Catch you later, everyone. Take care of yourselves.